Aha! The charm of myths provides life regeneration and reduces cooldown of healing potions. This thing against bosses is gonna be absolutely amazing. Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria modded playthrough. Thank you so much for the amount of support you showed in the last episode where of course we took down the motherboard boss. Go ahead and check it out if you haven't already. But yes guys, thank you so much for the amount of support you showed on that episode and indeed for the series. I do very much appreciate it. But in today's episode my friends, I would really like to try and get the cross guard face saber. In other words, we need ourselves some souls of might and obviously where do you get souls of might from the destroyer when you take him down so the charm of myths plus the heart of Attis should give us a very very nice amount of regen so i'm hoping that it will be enough to go ahead and take him down obviously there's some other things i want to try and get as well maybe some wings i want to try and get some other stuff as well you know obviously the souls of night it's going to be very, very useful to our cause. Uh, the armored, eh, the mana regeneration band isn't going to be too useful to our cause. We are going to reforge the charm of myths to try and get ourselves a better something something. So let's go and put on the discount card. And let's go to the ref. Damn, son. Violent. Warding. Hey, man, warding is always welcome for me. Uh, defense increased by two plus three defense. So that's a total of five defense. This has got four defense. So putting that on only decreases our defense by one, which I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with. Hey, man, I'm definitely, definitely happy with that reforge right there. Only took us two reforges to get the thing that we actually wanted. Hey, I mean, no complaints from me, buds. No complaints from me at all. I am pretty freaking happy about that. So let's go and put on the Aegis for now. Uh, I will be put on, on the Life Quartz gem as well for the fight. So, yeah. Right. Wings. Wings, 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 wings. We haven't even found any Blooming Sky Islands in this world yet, man. What the heck's up with that? So I think we need to go ahead and grab... Whoa, we've got 10 of these things? Damn, son. All right, we need to go ahead and try and find ourselves some Sky Islands. So let's go ahead and use one of these babies and let's see what kind of things we can find in the sky. What the heck? Wind elemental? Damn, dude. Get out of here, dude. That was weird. Aha! Oh, wow, it's a hallowed Sky Island. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, man. And it's quite low down from the sky, so there is a possibility I may have missed some sky and sort of lower down. But uh, whatever the case, let's go in here. Let's see what we've got. We've got ourselves a Star Fury. Uh, eh, not too interesting, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Pyphobic Colossal Harpy. Damn, son. That's, that's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> What? A nestling? Hey, man. I mean, I'm going to kill you anyway, so... Yeah. Hey, buddy. Mr. Wyvern. I'm going to kill you with this titanium rifle of awesomeness. What are you going to say about that, sir? Nothing. Well, to be honest, you won't be able to say anything very, very soon, because you'll be dead and stuff. And get destroyed. There we go. Uh, nine. Right. We need ourselves another 11 souls of flight, so that's going to be at least two more Wyverns. So... Yeah, let's get on it. Emerald token? Wait, that's something I haven't seen before. What will I get? Let's have a look. A murderous light spear ring. Summons a ring of holy spears. Two charges. What? What the hell? Yo. Uh, extremely weak knockback. Very slow speed. So it hasn't got snail speed. Alright, let's try it. Hup, poof! What the hell? Damn, son. I can imagine this being quite good against the destroyer, actually, to be honest. Damn. Oh, and it does lasting damage as well. Wow. Oh, check it out, guys. Another one. Another ML token. We have got ourselves a brisk charge bangle. Adds an extra charge to rings with two or more base charges. Yo, that is amazing, though. Hey, Mr. Wyvern. What do you think of this? Wait, where did he go? Was he all the way there? What the heck? Alright, and timing is everything, so here we go. Yeah, Get all the lasting damage, Sonny. Wow, that guy is getting destroyed. Wow. Alright, let's have some of the old firing. Let's have some of this as well. <laughs> oh, wow. That guy just got freaking destroyed. Wait, what the heck? 
What is going on around here? I can hear someone splashing. Oh. What the hell are you doing here, Fidelia? What the heck? Hey, a mechanical worm. Summons the destroyer? I mean, you know. Wow, this isn't completely OP or anything. We could just go and buy these things for no money at all. That's crazy. Okay, what else do we have? Contaminator, steampunk, uh, cloning vat, teleporter. I don't know why she's selling a mechanical worm. We haven't defeated the destroyer yet, have we? I don't even know, man. But I'm still waiting for a third wither to spawn. Unfortunately, because I am here and because this woman is here, I don't think we'll be able to get the wither to spawn here. So I think what we're going to have to do is find ourselves another Sky Island. Aha! Hello, wither number three, which I find just upon finding this Sky Lake, which for some reason has... A weird chest in it. Okay, interesting. Right, let's see about using this shadow flame ring and seeing how it does. Uh, okay. Wow. Oh, you just got destroyed. Don't even know why you tried, Sonny. Don't even know why you tried. <laughs> wow, we got 83 avian cartilage. That's pretty crazy, dudes. All right, uh, let's see what we have in here. We've got ourselves a trident and, uh... Not much interesting stuff, to be honest. Uh, hmm. Chuck away the rope. There we go. I don't really need the rope, to be honest. Alright, Mr. Guide. You are going to tell me what I can make with these avian cartilages. Flight wings allows minor flight and slow fall. Harpy pelter. There's uh, a gun. Harpy talon. Uh, flight hat. Increases jump height. You suffer no fall damage. And 10% increase fall speed. Feather arrow drifts in a straight line. Huh. Okay, and then there's a feather foe. That's interesting. This would have been really, really nice to have early on in the series. So, yeah, anyway, I digress. Let's keep on going. We've got some demon wings, fairy wings. Uh, oh, fairy wings. That might be a pretty nice one to go for. Harpy wings. Didn't get any uh, giant harpy feathers, unfortunately. Uh, butterfly dust. Oh, where did you get butterfly dust from again? Is it from moths? I feel like it's from moths in the underground jungle. I don't know. Uh, bone wings, flame wings, frozen wings, bat wings, bee wings, tattered bee wing. I don't know, man. Maybe we should go. Tattered fairy wings, spooky wings. Uh, wow, there's all sorts. Oh, and there's some other stuff. Look, vulture wings. Vulture. Oh, hang on. We might be able to make a vulture one. Because for some reason, I can remember us having like a vulture feather. Hold on, let's have a look in our accessories chest. Yeah, vulture feather. Hey, we can make ourselves some wings, guys. All right, let's head over to an anvil and let's get this baby crafted up. Vulture wings, violent vulture wings. Uh, not exactly what I would like to have, if I'm honest with you guys. I wouldn't mind having something with a bit better reforge on it. Uh, something with defense or damage. Right, boom. Uh, no, no. Guarding, nah. Guarding, nah. Jagged, nah. Angry, yeah, that's decent. I'll take that. Okay, so, uh, I may have to put it, oh, this is going to be a difficult one, because I would like to have more charges for my things. I'm going to have my Charm of Myths, I'm going to have my Spectre Boots, my Life Gem, and, oh, I could go for this. I want to see what kind of flight I can get with this, actually. Whee! Whoa! Whoa! One can go super quick with these! Damn, son. I don't even think I'm going to need my rocket boots at this rate. That is craziness. Oh, I'm going to put that there. And then you're going to go in there. Because, Jesus God, is that a quick way of doing things. Holy poop sack. That is just craziness. That is sheer, sheer craziness. Right, okay. So, Souls of Might is going to be the thing we're going to hopefully try to get in today's episode, my friends. And by doing that, we can make ourselves the cross guard phase saber because, of course, we got the souls of mind in the last episode. And these are also required to make the cross guard phase saber. And uh, I'm really hoping that this weapon is going to be very, very good and, well, excellent, to be honest. Because if not, I'm going to be a little bit on the salty side. So, I'm going to go and take off my endless musket patch. We're going to put the ammo in there. That is also going to go in there. And we're going to hopefully resort to using crystal bullets and all some other stuff. You know, just just stuff. Right, now then. Uh, we may need to expand the arena a little bit, perhaps. I feel like that might be a cool idea. But good lord, can you, can you like, move quick with these? Or can you move quick with these? 
All right, my friends. Today, my diary entry will read, I'm going to destroy the destroyer in evil blood. All right, here we go, my friends. We are just about ready to try this thing out. Let's buff up. Let's get ourselves a destroyer going. Yeah, let's do it, man. All right, let's start off with a little bit of this. And let's have a little bit of this. There we go. Let's have a little bit of this. Let's have a little bit of this. Let's have a little bit of this. And let's have a little bit of this. And let's keep on going with the good old Scourge Ring. Because the Scourge Ring is just brilliant in so, so many ways. It is actually kind of crazy. In fact, I've actually come to realize that me having so many charges of the Scourge Ring is in fact a bug. So, I'm, so yeah. At some point, I'm going to need to go ahead and try to, uh, you know, get that fixed. But holy crap, are we doing well or are we doing well? All right, come on. Scourge Ring doing well. Do, 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 do. All the hearts. Yeah, I love me all the hearts. Oh, man, this is brilliant. <laughs> this is so cool, though. All right, and let's have ourselves some, like, some of this stuff. There we go. Can we have, like, another? Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Dude, these rings are amazing. There is no other word for them. They seriously are amazing. All right, cool. Okay, let's see if we can have ourselves. Yep, yep, another one of them things. And maybe let's have some uh, let's have some armor being going on, my friends. I'm hoping this thing can uh, be succumbed to Icor, because if not, that's going to be a bit sucky. Okay, oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> my little dark portals are doing their job. Awesome. All right, here we go. This thing does slightly more damage per second because of its slightly faster speed. So I'm thinking this is going to be the thing we go for while we wait for our rings to go ahead. And, you know, recharge up. So that's all good and dandy. Our blooming uh, regenerative accessories are doing our, are doing their job very, very nicely. Which I am personally very, very happy with. So that's pretty awesome. So look, 405. It just keeps going. The regen just keeps going. All right, let's see about getting ourselves some of these things again. Yeah! So much destruction. It is crazy, dudes. Don't even know why this guy is trying right now. He's not going to freaking win. Not at all. Come on. Get back to the old gunny. There we go. 28,000 health out of 80,000. We've dwindled his health down so much already. We haven't even needed the Nimbus Rod or anything like that. To be honest with you guys, I think one of the things I could have done better is made a ranged helmet for my titanium armor. I feel like that would have been a pretty damn good idea to go for. But unfortunately, I didn't do that because apparently I'm a dumb dumb. So, yeah. In the meantime, let's just, uh, let's just continue, you know, doing our job of taking this guy down. Alright, let's see how our things are doing. There we go. Yeah. 16k, 15k, awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's does so much damage. These rings are seriously brilliant. The Scourge Ring, like I said, it is a bug. This thing says it has two charges, but in fact... It has 22 charges, so yeah, you saw that right there. It popped up with a message, you know, it said 22. Fire Rain has just, uh, has just regenerated, which is awesome. So Light Spear has just been come back. Awesome. Nice one. There we go. Destroyer is dead. Damn, man, that's awesome. You just got freaking destroyed, dudes. Brilliant. Right, uh, Avian Cartilage. Eh, I don't really need this stuff. Dudes, i got to say... Very, very happy that we managed to take him down with such ease. Right, now then. Uh, where's the where's the destroyer stuff? Whoa, you can get some serious speed with these blooming wings. These wings are like almost OP, I'd say. They're crazy. All right, uh, carnivore tail. Nice one. I'll definitely take that. Oh, the carnivore tails, I know, can be made into something pretty cool. Oh, we got the treasure bag. That's right. All right, so that guy just got destroyed. Meteorites, more adamantite and cobalt bars. I have quite the stockade of adamantite bars going along now, which is awesome. Let's go and open this thing up. We've got ourselves a mechanical wagon piece. 33 souls of might and 33 hallowed bars. We have 22 gold coins as well, which is just brilliant. Right, if it's a full moon, I really want to try and get as many werewolves as we possibly can because those carnivorous tails... They are used for an armor set, which I do believe is hard mode, so... Yes. I need to try and get to a dark area. We've got around, uh, like, just over three minutes to try and get this thing rolling. See how it does. So, yeah. Let's do some farming. 
Alrighty guys, so it's just become daytime and we managed to get ourselves 10 carnivorous tails, or carnivore tails if you really want to call them that. Which actually, you know, I won't blame you because that's the correct terminology. <laughs> I don't even know my friends. But anyway, let's go into here. That was a small coughing pit and yeah, we're going to head up to the guide and we are going to see what we can make with these carnivorous tails. Because it is an armor set we can make, but I can't remember what it was called. So let's go and put them in here and yeah, feral fur armor. As you can see, it is... A summoner set and you need a total of what 12 8 10 we need a total of 30 carnivore tails now I'm hoping we can get these from people other than just the werewolves because if not we're gonna have to wait until the next full moon to really farm these guys out but as you can see 12 defense 10 defense 11 defense gonna grant us a total of 33 defense and look at this 6% increased melee crit chance, 10% increased minion knockback, 5% increased melee crit chance, and then increases max number of minions by 2, instead of just 1, it's 2, and then 10% increased minion damage, and 5% increased melee crit again, so yeah, it's like a hybrid between the melee and a summoner set, so I wouldn't mind actually trying to get this, and seeing what the set bonus is for it, because I think it's going to be very, very cool, but anyways guys, in the meantime, time we have a task in hand to get on with we need to try and uh, and make ourselves one of those beautiful cross guard face sabers so let's head on in here let's grab ourselves the souls of mind let's head up here and let's see about making ourselves a cross guard face saber 86 damage sluggish Ooh. Eh, it's got minus speed on him, which sucks. Alright, uh, I'll tell you what, we can actually start making this stuff, I guess, so, yeah. But, yeah, I really do want to try and get myself the feral fur armor, so I'm gonna go and put this, uh, I'm gonna put the fur in there, and I'm gonna put the armor inside of my armor chest, so let's go ahead and chuck that in there for now. And, yeah, let's go ahead and see if there's anything else we can make with the souls of might as well, that's a point. Right, okay, so aside from that, we have ourselves a mechanical wagon piece. It is a material. I'm going to go and put that in the hard mode stuff chest. It is technically an expert mode item, but, you know, I've got a mod that allows me to get treasure bags in in normal mode. So, yeah, that's a thing. I forgot to put my avian cartilages away like a true dum-dum. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Uh, I'll tell you what. Those emerald tickets, that, that was something I wanted to see what I could do with, right? Right, so I've got to grab them out, and I'll grab the tokens out as well. What if I go over to this thing over here, and I see what I can do with it? Ooh. So, Shadow Flame Ring, 113. Light Spear Ring, already got that. Lightning Ring? That's a different one. Summons a Bolt of Lightning. Two charges. And uh, moving on, we have ourselves the Burst Gun Blade. Interesting. Uh, I want to make this. Lightning Ring. So, we have ourselves three new rings from the Emerald Crate. Or Emerald, you know, tokens. Let's see what this thing does. What? Yo! That's freaking ridiculous, man! I love that! <laughs> That's brilliant! Alright, let's see what we can do with this stuff. Alright, so, emerald tokens. Oh, wow. A shatter shard ring. Oh, that just reforges back into itself. Uh, uh, okay. Nice one. Oh, you can actually upgrade the ice shard ring into a shatter shard ring. Should we do that? I feel like that might be a worthy thing to go ahead and do. Should we go grab a nice shard ring? Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure I still have some in my uh, in my weapons chest. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Weapons. There we go. Ice shard ring. I'm going to grab that out. And we are going to make ourselves a shatter shard ring. Amazing. Uh, apparently it's a material. It's a keen shatter shard ring. Whoa. So, what? Okay, that's pretty awesome. So, it's just like a direct upgrade. Of the, of the thing we already had. So let's go and put it in there. Yep, we can just reforge it back into itself. Uh, in the meantime, let's see what else we can get. Gunblade Burst, Gunblade Mark II, Gunblade Spread. Uh, yeah, we pretty much got everything we need. So moving on, we have the Choice Tokens. So we got up to the Shadow Flame Ring. Moving on, we have ourselves Ruby Cosmic Tickets and Amber Cosmic Tickets. Look at this. Idol of the Moon God. Gain the ability to overcrit. Nebula Parasite, one magic damage, fires a parasite that damages enemies from within. That sounds pretty crazy. So these th wow, refuse death for five seconds? Wait, what? How does that work? Hmm, that's pretty awesome. But anyways, let's move on. We got ourselves a Martian Communicator. Martian Communicator. 25 Martian Conduit Plating, Souls of Might, Sight, Fright. 
And also some wire. Moving on. We're, oh, a soul forge. Wow. Used to craft more complicated equipment. Black hole cannon. The void heart. What the hell is it? Firestorm boots. Lava waders lightning boots. Soul of might, sight, and fight. That is incredible. Walk and water, fire blocks, and lava. The wearer can run incredibly fast and allows flight. Dudes. Destroys rage. Rapidly fires laser arrows. Bottled soul of might. 12% increased damage if worn. 5% increased damage if placed. There is a serious amount of awesome stuff we can make. Dudes, we've got so much stuff still to explore in this series. It is actually kind of crazy. But... For, well, to finish off the episode, I want to go ahead and reforge my, uh, my face saber, my cross guard face saber, to see what kind of damage we can actually get it to do with my tank set. So, uh, let's go ahead and put that on right there, and let's see about getting ourselves a cool reforge. Strong, heavy, superior, 95 damage. That's pretty awesome, man. But I, it's such a cheap reforge. I honestly feel... Oh, demonic. I honestly feel like we should be able to get legendary on it. So let's keep going. We've got uh, heavy, dull, shameful, shoddy, terrible, annoying, unhappy, zealous. Do you know what? I'm just going to keep going until I get legendary on this. Hey! There we go, my friends. Legendary blue crossguard phase saber. 100 damage on the dot. Plus 12% speed, plus 15% damage, plus 5% crit, plus 10% size, plus 15% knockback. Oh, that's more like it. There's some proper speed going on there, my friends. It might even be better than my warp slicer. I don't know, man. That's pretty cool. I don't know. It's going to be a difficult choice between the two, I feel, my friends. I really do feel like it's going to be a difficult choice. Right, okay. I'm going to go and put this on. I'm going to keep the scourge ring. The fire ring, I think we're going to make redundant. We're going to put that right there. And we are going to start putting away some of our old weapons, my friends. They have served as well. The fire rain ring... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Titanium rifle. Ah, these rings are so amazing. I don't want to get rid of them. They really are. All right, so sacrificial dagger, armor bane, you're all going away. Warp slicer, you're going away as well, my friend. I'm sorry, but it is the way of the world. You gotta, you, you gotta, you, you serve me well. You're gonna be put away. And that'll be the end of you for now. Alright guys, so, I think on that epic note, it is time to end the episode. Look at that barrage of rings that we have now, my friends. It's crazy. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But thank you so much for watching. My name is Python. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.